Welcome to the Jongets Games update vlog for November 2020. As you can see, I'll be covering a few different things today, but I do think this will be a shorter update compared to some of the other ones I've done this year. Uh, now, I do want to mention that if you'd prefer to listen to this vlog instead of watch it, then you could do so by searching for the Jongets Games podcast wherever you normally listen to podcasts. I'd also like to ask that if you enjoy this video, that you please click the like button for it down below as well as the subscribe button. And if you'd like to directly support the channel, then you can go to jongetsgames.com support where you can find a bunch of ways that you can do that, and it would be really appreciated. Uh, now, I think at this point, let's go ahead and start off with the general updates, and as always, we'll briefly touch on the Patreon campaign. There were eight new people who joined into the campaign over the last month, which is wonderful to see. Unfortunately, there's still a bit of a slide with the campaign, I think mostly because I now don't do full playthroughs anymore. Uh, there was a overall loss of 16 people and about $50, $60 a month, but that's fine. I think things are still doing really well. And uh, once again, if you enjoy what I'm doing here, even $1 a month really helps. So uh, uh, please consider it, but you know, no worries if it doesn't make sense for you. Uh, all right, let's move into the general updates, although I only really have one I'd like to discuss, and it's a bit vague. Uh, in the last update vlog, I discussed the fact that October was going to be the busiest month I've ever had. I put out more videos than I've ever done in that tiny amount of time, and I felt confident I'd be able to pull it off but I wasn't entirely sure. Well, October has come and gone, and I'm happy to say that I did pull it off. <laughs> I got 12 videos done, although technically only 11 of them have been published. Uh, the Castello Mathoni tutorial should be going out within the next day or so. I decided to wait on that one because uh, last week was so crazy with videos. Um, now, that's great. I got 12 tutorials done, plus an impressions vlog, and, you know, uh, I think that might have actually been it. I didn't do a Games Radar vlog last month, but it was really great to see that I can actually pull off that amount of stuff, especially considering it was not exactly a straightforward month. <laughs> I'm not going to go into the specifics of it, but um, I had a uh, pretty uncomfortable medical situation that happened last month uh, where for about a week I was in extreme discomfort and a lot of over-the-counter uh, painkillers. Uh, and I actually had to delay the live Q&A last month because I had to have a procedure to help me out, which it did. Um, that happened at the exact same time as the live Q&A was going to happen. So I delayed it a couple of weeks and um, everything is fine. Everything is totally fine. But um, that definitely uh, cut down on my productivity for about a week. And there were a couple of videos in particular. I remember the Farron tutorial. I was in an extreme amount of discomfort the entire time I recorded that video. So hopefully nobody noticed that. Um, and uh, at this point, like I said, everything is fine. Um, so that is really great to see, but it's nice to see that I not only got through everything in October that I thought I was, uh, that I needed to, but I also did it with a pretty sizable uh, curveball. So that means that this um, current plan that I have as I'm scheduling things out is a little bit resilient to some issues. Uh, now, looking forward to November, I'll talk about the specifics of it soon, but it's actually going to be just about as busy as October. I think I'm planning on creating 11 tutorials in November compared to the 12 that I made in October. And at this point, I am about a week ahead. I have um, most of the videos done for next week and one video for the week after that done already. And uh, so far, you know, things are going pretty well there. Um, and that's, again, considering the fact that this current week, I'm not being all that productive. There's obviously a lot going on in the world, and that's uh, uh, really cutting into my productivity overall. But um, again, it's really great to see that I can pull this off, and I hope that you enjoyed the amount of content that I was able to put out last month. It was a bit of a fire hose, honestly. I'm not used to uh, publishing that many videos. It was like three or four a week, which is just kind of bonkers, uh, realistically, when I think about it. But hey, it seems to be going well, and my spirits are still high as far as Jongus Games work is concerned. Um, actually, quite enjoyed most of October uh, doing the work. Uh, I really enjoy this new pattern of making the tutorials, of wrapping the project up and moving on to the next one. It's just a lot more sustainable for me. And uh, yeah, I think that's essentially everything I have to say about that. And I don't really have any other updates to speak of. So let's now go into the shifting shelf segment. Uh, now, this is where I talk about the games that I have acquired over the last month and the games that I've removed from my collection to try and be able to fit all my games onto my shelves. Uh, now, I removed quite a few games uh, this month. I, I decided it was time to uh, get rid of some games that I have not actually played with other people, but it doesn't look like I am going to. Um, so I'm going to start with those. The first one is Glenmore 2. I backed this one on Kickstarter, and it actually won a Patreon poll to have a... Uh, uh, 
tutorial and full playthrough made for it um, earlier this year. Um, I really enjoyed the original Glenmore when I played it years ago, and so I was excited to back the Kickstarter. Uh, but this game is huge. Like, the box is gigantic. It's got so much stuff in it, which some people like, but that's not really my thing. And it's just been sitting on the shelf, not being played. I've never actually played it with anyone else. I just played it for the, uh, the playthrough video. And while I enjoyed it, I enjoyed um, playing it in the playthrough video. I just think that while Glenmore is a good game overall, it just it's very unlikely to get played, and it's gigantic, so I've decided to remove it from the collection. Um, next up is Hats. Uh, I did a sponsored full playthrough for this one, I believe about a year ago, maybe a little bit more, and um, this one, I just had a production copy of it to make the video, and I never actually got around to playing it with other people to discuss my impressions. I only ever played it for that one video, and it doesn't seem like it's going to get played, so I decided to remove that. Um, I also decided to remove Judge Dread Helter Skelter. Um, I never actually did any content for this one, which I feel a little bit weird about, but then again, um, Osprey Games is wonderful, and they send me a copy of every single game that they uh, make, and um, sometimes they just don't jive with my personal preferences. Uh, this is a game that I would have declined if they had asked if I wanted to receive it, and I've had it for a while thinking maybe I would actually get it played, but it's just not the kind of game that I gravitate towards or the people that I play with gravitate towards, and especially in 2020 when I'm playing essentially zero games with other people. I just don't think it makes sense to keep this one on my shelf anymore, um, hogging up a moderate amount of uh, shelf space. It's about a ticket to ride size box. Next up is Nevada City, and it's a similar to story to what I've already said before, and same with Santa Monica, actually. Both of these games I uh, got as uh, press copies. Nevada City turned into a sponsored tutorial. I think that was actually the first tutorial-only video that I made, and Santa Monica was sent over to me by AEG. Uh, I made a Patreon-sponsored video for that one, and for both of them, the, the games are cool. Like I like a lot of the stuff that's going on, but it's 2020. I'm not really playing games with other people, and I think by the time I will be able to play games in real life with other people again, I just don't think these are going to hit the table. There's going to be so many other games that have come out that I'm probably more excited about, so unfortunately, I think it makes sense to uh, clear up the shelf space there. Uh, finally, there is Yokohama. Now, I uh, backed this one on Kickstarter when it was out on Kickstarter, which was a lot of years ago. Four? Five years ago, something like that, um, I, I got it in, and I played it several times. I really enjoyed it, and uh, I ended up doing a... Did I do a video? Yeah. Yeah, I did a full playthrough of this one, again, a very, very long time ago, years and years and years ago. Uh, the game is great. I, I remember really enjoying it, but once again, the excitement threshold compared to other stuff, and also the barrier to entry of me needing to completely relearn the game before I would play it again, means I just don't think it makes sense to keep this one on the shelf anymore. I got a lot of uh, enjoyment out of it overall, um, but I think I would pretty much always go towards something else with a relatively similar uh, length of time to play compared to Yokohama. So even though it's a good game, um, honestly, I feel like in these update vlogs these days, when I am uh, removing games from my collection, I'm always saying it's a good game, but uh, and that's because I have a very good collection at this point <laughs> because I've been doing this for a long time. But either way, I think it's time for Yokohama to move on and uh, hopefully I can find a uh, home for it where people will actually play it because it is a great game. Uh, now, as far as the new games that I've acquired, uh, I was sent Blue Skies by uh, from Rio Grande Games. Uh, I've read the rules to this one. It looks neat. It's it's uh, relatively light overall. Uh, it's a game thematically about, um, I guess, building out the uh, the air traffic network, or I guess uh, airlines trying to compete to, to take over the United States um, air network. Again, I read the rules like two weeks ago. I don't remember the details, but um, it looks like it's a pretty lightweight, as far as rules are concerned, game where you're um, placing cubes all over the place place and you are, you know, just gaining benefits from that and competing from other people. Um, I hope to be able to play this one at some point. It does not currently have a mod online and I think it's unlikely I'll get a play of the actual physical copy done, but I am curious. So I am cautiously hopeful that I'll be able to play this one. Uh, next up, I got a copy of Lost Ruins of Arnak in, which I uh, immediately made a uh, TTS mod for that I've kept private because I just think that makes sense. And um, I played it once. I really enjoyed it. I covered it in the impressions vlog, and it is going to be uh, covered this month. Um, this one ended up coming in first place in the Patreon-sponsored uh, poll, so I will be filming, filming this one potentially tomorrow. Depending on how today goes, I might get that one out on the table tomorrow. Uh, New York Zoo came in from Capstone Games, which is a new Uwe Rosenberg uh, polyomino-style game where you're placing polyomino tiles in front of you to then breed a bunch of animals in your zoo. It looks cute. I'm looking forward to trying this one again. I don't think there's an online mod for it, so I might scan all of this stuff into the computer and try to make a mod so that I can play this one with friends. Um, I also got a, a, bought a copy of The Castles of Tuscany from Amazon.de. I already made a mod for it, and I discussed my impressions of it, and it seems 
pretty likely that I'm going to be doing a uh, Patreon sponsored tutorial for that one. Um, I do two of those a month now, and um, the one that's currently in second place is Hollertau, which I ordered from Lookout, but they have not given me the shipping notification yet. So I'm not confident I'm actually going to get that game in November. And if that happens, then Castles of Tuscany will get a tutorial made because um, it's in third place right now. So I think it's starting to look more and more likely that that video will happen. Uh, finally, I got a copy of Viscounts of the West Kingdom, uh, especially because they wanted a sponsored tutorial video made for it. I made that one last week. It's essentially done, and it's going to be going up online uh, early next week, which I'll talk about about in the schedule. So uh, yeah, uh, that is all the new stuff that I have been acquiring. Um, definitely some things that I've enjoyed playing and I'm also looking forward to playing. So this brings us to the final part of the update where I'm going to talk about the upcoming schedule. Uh, and I'm only going to talk about the next three weeks. Sometimes I talk about four or five weeks, but for now, looking forward to week 46, uh, that is when I'm going to be putting out the Viscounts of the West Kingdom tutorial, as well as a Chronicles of Crime 1400 tutorial. Uh, that one is fully done as well. I think that's going to be coinciding with a Kickstarter campaign. At the end of that week, I'm planning on putting out the Lost Ruins of Arnak tutorial, which again, won the Patreon-sponsored poll. Um, I haven't filmed it yet, but that's the plan, is to put it out in about a week or so. Uh, next up in week 47, uh, I will be putting out a video for Rulebenders. Um, that one is, again, I think going onto a Kickstarter, and it's actually on the table right now, just off camera. I'm halfway through filming the tutorial for that one. And then later that week, I'll be having my live Q&A for November. That's going to be on the 18th, which is a Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, later that week, I am planning on putting out a video for Tungaru, or Tungaru, yeah, <laughs> that one's from Alley Cat Games. Uh, it's going to be a sponsored tutorial. I don't have the exact timing on that one figured out just yet, and I don't actually have the copy of the game yet, so it's possible that one might slip. And the same goes for Gatefall, which is another sponsored tutorial I'll be doing. Um, that one's hypothetically happening this week, or that week, or the week after, but I haven't actually received the copy of it yet. Looking to week 48, which is the last week of November, uh, I will be doing a the bonus video for Patreon. Uh, this one is uh, suggested by and voted on by the contributing producer-level supporters of the channel. Um, it's a few people who support the channel at $20 a month or more, which is super appreciated. And there's actually a tie, uh, so I get to break the tie. Uh, that one's either going to be a Hadara tutorial, or it's going to be a top 10 list for old games, like games that came out in 2010 or um, earlier. Uh, I'm not really sure which one of those. I'm going to break the tie for. It's probably going to depend on what my workload is looking like that week, because uh, top 10 lists usually take less time than a tutorial. Uh, uh, that week, I'm also hoping to put out a Games Radar vlog. It's been a little while since I've done that. By the time I do this, it'll probably have uh, gotten around two months, so I should have quite a few games to discuss. Uh, that week, I am also planning on putting out the other uh, standard Patreon-supported video, which, again, will be the Castles of Tuscany or Hallertau. It'll be Hallertau if that arrives in time, but it's looking more and more likely like it'll be Tuscany. Although I have been hearing that some people are getting shipping notifications in Europe for the copies from Lookout. So hopefully the copies going over here to uh, the US will happen soon. Uh, and lastly, that week, there is likely going to be a sponsored tutorial for Billionaire Rumor. I don't have the exact date for that one just yet. And in fact, it's not 100%. It just seems like it's like 95% going to happen. And that is what uh, this month is looking like. So once again, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I can tell you right now that December is looking significantly lighter than November, which isn't too surprising considering the holidays and everything, but um, it will potentially fill up as well. I've got about four projects that are pending for December that could go one way or the other. If they all decide to happen, then my December will actually be pretty busy. Uh, so yeah, that is the look at the current upcoming schedule. Um, some of this is vague. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if um, some of what I said is wrong, but uh, definitely mark your calendars for November 18th at 1 uh, p.m. Pacific Standard Time if you'd like to join in with the live Q&A. I really enjoy doing those and um, I do those every single month. And yeah, I decided to do that one kind of more in the middle of the month this month. Uh, so I think that is going to bring this vlog to a close. Again, I didn't have a ton to say overall, but I'm glad that I think everything I said was positive. Like things are going really well for John Gets Games uh, right now, which um, definitely helps my mood out overall. And uh, yeah, uh, I think I should probably stop talking because I've got a video tutorial right over here that I have to complete and a whole bunch of other work to do that I'm actively looking forward to doing. So yeah, that's going to bring this vlog to a close. As always, I'd like to thank everyone who's been supporting this channel, including these producer-level Patreon supporters. If you would like to directly support the channel in the creation of future videos like this one, then please go to jongetsgames.com support. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button for it down below, as well as the subscribe button for the channel. Thanks for watching.